This video is going to show you how to make a transformation in R. Okay, so there's a variable in this data set, we're using that defaulting customer data, called the uh, down payment amount. So when you join, you have to put a certain amount down on the first day, the remainder you pay over the next three years. So this is just how much money the customer puts down on the first day of the membership. Let's go make a histogram of that. So hist default dollar down payment. And what you're going to see is that it is extremely right skewed. So most people, if you kind of eyeball this, there's four bars between 0 and 2,000. So this break must be about 500. Vast majority of people are putting less than $500 down. And then you look at this and, oh my goodness, there must be some people putting like maybe that's $10,000 or so down, which ought to be very suspicious. People don't pay $10,000 for a three-year health club membership, but um, uh, let's, not, uh, let's not think about that right now. Um, I'd like to, um, I'd like to uh, transform this so it's a little bit more meaningful. You know, so the vast majority of my data is squeezed into this first bar. So whenever you have a right skew distribution, it often helps to take logs. So in R, this is really easy to do. What we're going to do is just go type in log, and um, we're going to add 1. The reason I'm going to add 1 is that uh, if you try to take the log of 0, R is not very happy because, um, remember, logs are exponents. There is no um, you know, exponent that gives you a value 0, you know, e2 or 10, whatever your base is. Um, to some number equal to zero is, is undefined. Okay, so we add one to avoid taking the log of zero. Notice that values that were zero um, are then, it's the log of one, which is zero. All right, so uh, the zeros stay zeros, which is really nice. Now, if I do this, we get something that looks kind of vaguely normal, but um, I think we... Um, the, the, the histogram, the bars are a little too coarse. So remember, we can adjust the number of bars by saying breaks equal, give it another number, let's say 50. And what we see is that this thing gets really spiky. If we give it 100, this means let's have 100 different bars, it gets uh, extremely spiky. And so you might be wondering what What's, what's, what's the deal with these spikes? Well, the simplest way to do this, to understand what's going on, is to maybe look at a frequency distribution of down payment. The only problem is there are just so many values of down payment, um, it's going to, you know, kind of hundreds and hundreds of values, it's going to fill up the screen. So here's what we're going to do. Let's just run a frequency distribution. We're going to use my little function that gives you... Um, you know, kind of fancy frequency distributions. Default dollar down payment. Uh, I hate to do this. If I type this, you're going to see I get a ton of output because there's so many different unique values of this. But what you're going to see is that there are some spikes. You know, like there's a spike at 25, and then it looks like there's a spike at $50, and then we have a spike at 100, giant spike at 100. All right, so remember there was an extra argument which said, I want to sort this in descending order that counts. And you know what? Um, let's put a head on this so I don't have to look at all, you know, a couple hundred of these rows or a thousand of these rows. Let's just take the first 30 rows. So this is going to make a frequency distribution. It's going to sort them in descending order of these uh, counts. And it's only going to give me the first 30 rows. So what it's saying is that there are about 3,600 people who put $100 down, which is a nice round number. That is a, you know, what this spike is. That's $100. Then there's about 2,900 that put $150 down. That's probably the second spike. The third spike is probably right here at 50. Um, and so this is a much more meaningful way uh, to kind of view this data set rather than 
uh, squeezing the vast majority of your data into one bar as we had the first time around, uh, it really helps take logs.